After two years in the Army, Cardinal quarterback Charlie Johnson won his job back. Against the Cowboys, Johnson, throwing mainly to Jackie Smith and number 80 Dave Williams, moved the Cardinals almost effortlessly. However, when it came time to convert their opportunities into points, St. Louis could manage but three points all day. In one preseason game, quarterback Roger Staubach scrambled for 118 yards, but Dallas lost. Against the Cardinals, Staubach rarely strayed from the comfort of the pocket, and the Cowboys won. At times, the 27-year-old rookie quarterback took a fearful beating from the Cardinals, who dumped him six times for losses. But in the end, it was Staubach who delivered the most punishment. In the first half alone, two of his bombs accounted for 140 yards. One was a 66-yard strike to Dennis Homan, who was subbing for injured Bob Hayes. The other was a 75-yard shot to Lance Rensel for a first-quarter touchdown that was all the scoring the Cowboys needed to ensure victory over the Cardinals. Rensel's second touchdown came on the Cowboys' very favorite play, the option pass. Triple threat rookie Calvin Hill disguised the play beautifully, then unlimbered a 53-yard toss to Rensel, who was all alone when the ball arrived. Stavak scored the final touchdown on a rollout to ensure a surprisingly easy 24-3 Cowboy victory. It was a big day for Dallas and their rookie quarterback, as they took their first giant step in their quest for a third consecutive Capital Division title. <laughs>